get the sails up. Heaven help us! Stop thinking about it and get a move on! Captain! Captain! Stop yelling. What's the matter? I've bought supplies for the voyage, as you've ordered, Captain. We can set sail any time, but you'll need to pay the shopkeeper for provisions. You bought the supplies? Where is Bodell? He's the quartermaster. He was too drunk to go, Captain. I had to go and do it. Here's the paper from the merchant.
son of a bitch. This is twice the price it should be, you bloody dimwit. I don't know. The thing is, Captain, I... I can't read. You can't read or write? You signed the promise to pay note just fine. Cause I'm proud of my Irish name, Verta O'Sullivan. So I've learned how to write it. You idiot. Didn't you ask about the prices? I... Hmm... You screwed up. You know how much you just cost me. Where's that drunken slob, Bodell? I'm going to hang him from the masthead. Yep, he's probably still drinking over at the Block Bitch Tavern, Captain. That miserable excuse for a goddamn sailor. Out of my way. Shall we trade? Guess you need your boat repair. What are you looking at, friend? You never seen a dwarf before? I've seen one before, but you might be the smallest one I've ever seen. <laughs> Watch it, Paul. 
I'm just the right size to buy your bollocks off. And this is a friend of yours. Ah, him. Sometimes Biden doesn't cut it. And more extreme measures are called for. And who are you, compadre? Captain Christopher Raven. Captain, eh? My name is Benito and I'm currently unemployed. I am reduced to wasting my talents on scum like this. Don't suppose you're looking for a man who's tough as steel and clever as hell to be your first, are you? You've got my attention. My ship is docked in port. Boarded. Not so fast. I have to say my goodbyes to the ladies, and that can take quite a while, if you know what I mean. Meet me at the brothel in two days. Adios, Capitan! What? Wait! Meet me here in two days. Adios, Captain. Where are my eyes? Welcome, Captain. Better have this Nothing. Have you heard of... Tell me something. We mostly produce rum. You know where I can make some? I have no idea. If you have a sheep, heard any interesting rumors? You ever heard of Santorio? The famous pirate hunter? I heard he was after a pirate named the Devil. You own some rum. You've got two seconds to tell me why you're in here and not out doing your job. Huh? What, what do you mean, sir? 
Supplies. The supplies, damn it. Why is a goddamn halfwit out there getting overcharged for my supplies when you should be doing it yourself? Oh, well. See, Captain, I met a fine lady out there on the street, the best I'd ever seen, and she was asking so little that I thought I'd just come in real quick. Just get your poison out if you catch my meaning. She better be good looking. The amount of shit she's getting you in. But I know what a fine woman can do to a man. Oh, thanks for understanding, Captain. Not another word. Where did you send O'Sullivan for those supplies? Polkinghorn shop. You know, the big building near the market. He should be standing right outside. Sober up, Bodell. Are you Polkinghorn? Hello, sir. Yes, I am Edmund Poking. Oh! You stupid shit. You try and swindle my men? You try and swindle me? Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what you mean, sir. Does this bill of sale ring a bell? It says I owe twice the regular price for my supplies. Ah, now, sir, this bill of exchange is completely legal, so I'd appreciate it if you'd not hit me again. My man here may take offense. <laughs> legal. Uh, I'm sure as hell not paying this much. Be reasonable. Well, I'd hate to have an unsatisfied customer. Let's just call it 500 reals and be done with it. Are you crazy? I'd rather shoot you in the belly than pay that much. Your threats of violence have worn out my patience, sir. Perhaps after a beating, you will be more agreeable. Boys? Stop, please. Here, I'll, I'll rip up the bill of sale. And? And? All right, all right. Go ahead and take some supplies free of charge. Just take them and go. I appreciate you helping me sort out this misunderstanding. I knew we wouldn't have to resort to violence. Anything you need.
wimpy one in that. Good afternoon, sir. In judging by your rather or rough appearance, you must be a seaman of some sort. I am. My name's Captain Christopher Raven. Well met, sir. My name is Bartholomew Sawford, Master of Surgery and Medicine. Unfortunately, by a combination of events completely beyond my control, I am currently unemployed. And why should I be concerned about that, old man? I posit that you could use a talented man who can actually help your men when injury strikes, instead of just digging around in their wounds until they become rancid with infection. If this is true, I would happily offer my humble services. I might be looking. What's your price? Actually, I do not require pay, only some victuals and a place to sleep. So, what's the catch? There's an ex-client who's quite dissatisfied with my services. With him out there, I'm too afraid to walk the streets, let alone practice my trade. If you take care of this vicious malcontent, I will join your crew without hesitation. What do you say? All right. Where can I find that malcontent? Marvelous. You can find him near the Black Beach Tavern. He should be quite distinguishable due to his pegged leg. I eagerly await your return. I'll be going then.
Are you Sawford's client? Client? More like experiment! That lunatic surgeon cut off me fucking leg! It looks like a clean cut to me. Oh, it's clean, all right. Problem is, it was my finger that needed to be cut! Look, I need you to back off. He's under my protection now. He cut off my leg! I'm not backing off of anything until he's short a fucking leg! You keep pushing this. You're gonna lose more than a leg. Don't test me. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to tell me? Did you take care of the malcontent we discussed earlier? He won't be causing you problems anymore. I'm curious, why did you cut his whole leg off when his toe was the problem? Oh, don't concern yourself over a simple limb. There are many secrets to my art. I'm afraid you wouldn't understand. Okay. It would be a great pleasure to join your crew now, Captain. You're hired. Report to the ship. Someone will show you a cabin you can use. And hey, don't cut anyone's leg off. Excellent. And of course not, sir. Only if the leg needs the chopping. Where's that drunken slob, Bodell? I'm going to hang him from the ma- yep, He's probably- That's-
Guess you need... Not to worry. A two-legged... Permission to go find my wife, Captain. Find? I thought you said she was homesick. Um, yeah, Roy, she is. I mean, eh, permission to go see her. It, it's really important that I go today, sir. Sure, you. You go ahead. Meet back at the ship when you're done. Oh, thanks, Captain.
All right, Hugh. What the fuck is going on here? Captain Raven, wh wh what are you doing here? Cut the shit. What are you doing? This ain't a hospital, and sure as hell isn't your house. I... I'm sorry, Captain. Oh, I ain't told you the truth. I got word that my wife is about to get married. I thought she was married to you. She is that godless bitch who we've been separated for a good while on account of she don't want me pirating and sailing and drinking. But the sea is better to me than she's ever been. So I figured I'd crew with you for a few months, then come back once she calmed down. Now she's getting married. I don't like being lied to, Hugh. Especially by my own damn crew. I'm sorry, Captain. I know I shouldn't have lied, but I didn't think you'd understand. I got to go in there and see her before she gets hitched. She's getting married today? Right now? She is! Right through there! And Captain, she's marrying a French sailor! A damned Navy man! Shit! My wife! Marrying a damned frog? Do you know how much I hate the French? I just need five minutes! Just five minutes to talk to her and then I'll go Please, Captain, I've come this far. You mean I've come this far? Damn it, Hugh. All right, five minutes, and I'm coming in with you. Thank you, Captain. You won't regret it, I promise. Undo you, Jeanette. Take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. You already got a husband, whore. <laughs> Men, two arms. What the hell was that? Thought you said you needed to talk to her. 
I'd never seen anyone talk with a damn flintlock. I'm sorry, Captain. I I'm just seeing her with that Frenchman. I just lost it. You're lucky I don't leave you here. That's two weeks dock pay. And you're on shit detail. Get back to the ship. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. And thanks. Shall we try? I'm Christopher Raven. What do you want? A job? Looks like you could do some damage with that hook of yours, if you know how to use it, of course. It cuts through French gas bags like a hot knife through butter. Mon dieu! One has to be careful with you, eh? Diego Alfaro sends you a message. Huh. Working for Santorio. Are you? Does Santorio usually have pirates working for him? Right, Diego. I was expecting to see his oddly Spaniard face yesterday. That's the message. He's not coming. He let me down again, Secretary Espagnol. He said you two had a lethal arrangement. Ah, I see. He sends you. Well, at least he arranged a replacement this time. You've got it wrong. He said you would pay me what you owe him. You believe that? You're a gullible one. No offense, of course. The hell with your monies anyways. I was doing a favor for Diego, and now the favor is done. Wait a moment. I mean no insult, my friend. That damn Diego makes me see fire. Why not wait for a moment and listen to my offer? Make it quick. 
I need someone to pay a visit to three men who have become problems for me. The pay for this task would be quite high. How high are we talking? You know the going rate per head around here? Twice that. I'll do it for three times the rate. But, mon ami, the total would be nine times what I pay any cutthroat around here. Then hire one. My rate is four times that. But you just say three. Then three it is. You are a shrewd negotiator. All right, we have a deal. Not yet. I need to see the governor, but I don't have the right papers. You have a way to arrange that? You want to see the governor? Last I checked, my job description didn't include answering your questions. So can you arrange the papers or not? You're certainly a clever one. All right, we have a deal. Who am I visiting? I have their names, but I must warn you, they are not weak men. You will earn your money. Just give me the names. I'll worry about the rest. André Lefebvre, Michel Roux, and Pierre Martel. They are mercenaries currently staying in the St. George. Wait. These aren't your own men, are they? I'm not paying you to ask questions. Guess you need your Is an asshole, Mr. Mighty Mercenary, my ass. I remember his father. He was a good man. Old man who was. Whatever. Michel Sure is an ass. Danger's one, though. Those mercenary friends of his. At least uh, they are gone. Wonder where they've gone off to, though. Griffwood Bitch. How do you know that? Lefebvre is to say so. I hear things. Yeah, well, the only sounds I like to hear when I'm here is drinking being poured. I'm into that. Let's have one. Now you're talking. While going the road to sweet a fire, heroo, heroo, 
While going the road to sweetify Haru, Haru, while going the road to sweetify Give me some rum. Me Here you go. A doorful damsel I heard cried, Johnny a hard Heard any interesting guns rumors? And drums and drums and guns. Have I heard that the governor is very ill? Guns and drums and drums and guns, Haru, You know, ask the, tell me something. We must fit for drums and drums and guns. The enemy nearly slew ya. Oh, my darling dear, you look so queer. Johnny, I hardly knew ya. Where are your eyes that wear so mild, Haru? Haru, where are your eyes that wear... Hey, what the hell are you sniffing around for, cochon? I'm not sniffing around for anything, because I've just found it. What the hell are you talking about? Do I know you? Doubt it. I have a name you might recognize, though. Luke Morale sends his regards. Backstabbing pig. Diable.
Have you visited my three friends yet? Not yet. Have you visited? Not yet. Hey, what the heck? I'm not. What the heck? Doubt. Backstab. <laughs> wait, wait. It wasn't me. I just helped with the body. It was all Pierre's idea. Talk. I just know Morel hired us to kill Toussaint. That's all I know. The bastard. He wants us dead now. I didn't even touch Toussaint. Pierre took him in here, and Michel cut his throat. Morel hired you to do this? Yes, yes, but that's all I know. He always deals with Pierre. Pierre Martel? That's right. He, wait, Toussaint, he, he had a letter. It is still on him. We were supposed to throw him in the sea, but it is still here. Take it. I swear, I didn't kill him. Didn't even touch him. Where is Martel? I... I don't know. No, wait, please. The Place de la Vérité... He, he there. He's maybe... Uh, try there. He's... Please, don't kill me.
Yes. Pierre Martel. What do you mean? I was told he'd be somewhere near the gallows. Oh, oh, I see, my friend. Someone has played quite a joke on you. I mean, yes, you could say Martel is near the gallows, all right. He's hanging right from it. <laughs> That's Martel? When did this happen? Not too long ago. The law finally caught up with him. You disappointed? I mean, was he your buddy, or...? No. Makes no difference to me, so long as he's dead. So, I guess you went looking to deliver him a gift or nothing then? Far from it. Good, good. Done it myself, you know. Killing him, I mean. I'm the town executioner. Leave now, even if I had a sheep to sell me out here. But you don't. Not the point. The point is, those damn buccaneers are circling the islands. Haven't you heard? Can't say I have. Well, now I have. Right. Well, if I was a captain, I would stay as docked until the bastard goes somewhere else. Or until the governor runs them off. Ah, no good that happen unless they threaten his one server. Have you visited my three friends yet? Let me remind you that this task requires some urgency. Don't worry, it's done. All three? Already? You have taken care of them all? If you wanted me to cut off their heads as proof, you should have included that in the deal. Hey, <laughs> okay. There's no need for witness. Here's the money, and here's a letter that will get you in to see the governor. I have already put in a good word for you. 